All right, what's up, traders? No, I'm here from the Dark Side family, and uh, in this video, I want to walk you guys through a US 30 unicorn entry. Okay, um, you've heard me mention unicorn entries before, and again, it's not that that you know that they don't work or that they don't happen. It's just how often do they actually happen, and you know how often are you able to spot them? You know, are they going to give you any type of consistent result? And see, the answer, guys, is it, it just really doesn't work like that anymore. This this is our entry model. It makes you know, it's not, it's no secret to, to anyone. You know what I mean? This is the best way to enter the market. We've said that in many, many videos. But again, it boils down to how often does it happen? You know, does it happen on a daily basis? Is it happen consistently? And the answer to that, unfortunately, is no, it really doesn't. And this is why I don't preach any one specific way to get into the market. Because if you sit here waiting to see that unicorn every time, most of the time you're going to be left out of trades. You're going to be left out of big moves, small moves, you're going to be left out of everything because it's not designed to give you the opportunity to enter every time, okay? But when it does happen, it can give you a tremendous R to R. So I'm going to walk you guys through that real quick on um, on US 30, what we call DS 30. Uh, first and foremost, again, if you're following our Telegram channel, you know that we were we were long through here for a while, and then we took these short, short, shorts. Uh, this short I took in the Dominican Republic out of a hot tub. Never forget that one. The rest of the team, we had shorts out of here all day long. So, you know, we've been in this in this cycle for a while now. And um, and it's only once this zone was swept that I actually closed my position and then kind of got out of it. But now I see that it's built back up and it's been pushing. So, you know, what I do is I like to back test and see where price is right now and how it got there. And that's kind of what I'm going to walk you guys through right now super beneficial to your trading never just look at a at a move for example never just look at a sell-off or a buy opportunity and just let that go you need to be able to figure out exactly what took place in here that gave the opportunity to get long because otherwise how do you ever expect yourself to be able to get in these moves if you don't understand how they you know how they're generated where they come from the anatomy of every single candle we're talking daily time frame you need to understand every pip every movement down to the one minute on this on these candles here you understand guys that's what it takes but um, just to dive deeper into this I uh, I'll let you guys I'll let you guys back test the entry from here and obviously just look in this area shouldn't be that hard to find but again it, what's the use if I'm doing everything for you back test this area guys so you can kind of see what developed here and what led to this move being significant out of this zone okay but we'll just go into the low time frame because Really only have about 20 minutes in this video so again let's just go to the four hour real quick and just look at a really common scenario that everybody should be familiar with by now okay let's just look at the structure and we'll mark it out from here this high to this low to this lower high to this lower low right high low lower high lower low descending structure okay and then what break of structure right so now that we're there what are we looking for you can call this your imbalance if you'd like, although you could see it played out as a trap. <laughs> if this was your imbalance right here that you were trading, you can see what the market did, how it tapped you in. And let's just back it up a little bit. You can see how it did and how ruthless it can actually be because if that's your four-hour imbalance or order block, again, if this is the order block, we'll call this what? 50% of this last sell candle, so let's just mark that off too, right? 50%, make it nice and visible so we can all see it just to give you an, an idea of the manipulation how this stuff works guys okay so if we're talking about 50 percent of the last sell candle that led to the buy that broke structure we can all agree on that smart money all you guys we can agree on that that's the sell off that broke structure we can see price taps into it nice and clean it does you know that that's what it does and uh, from there we can see our low time frame break of structure as well and if you look even deeper you guys can go ahead and back test this little candle right here which led to the first trap, but again, that's another, that's a whole other story. But you know, if this, if this was your entry, you know, trading smart money concepts or whatever imbalances, order blocks, you can call it whatever you want, guys. It doesn't have to be called anything. But uh, if that's the zone and you had your rejection that you were looking for, right? Let's just brighten this up real quick. You got your rejection, so here's your entry area, obviously. Because what you saw, what you needed to see, right? Price came in and hit your imbalance and hit 50% of the order block. Whatever you want to see, when price comes in, you want to see break of structure, retest, rocket. You know, that's what you're looking for. And if we just look at what the market does, if you were to get long from this position here, you can even see how they give you the nice equal lows right inside here, relative equal lows. In other words, liquidity 
before the zone is struck, right? Liquidity, sweep, go, right? So let's just watch it play out. Trading View's got this new little section right here for the replays. Uh, I like the other one better, to be honest, but whatever. Um, so we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Now we're seeing price. Obviously, everybody's seeing it. And look at look at that right there, guys. And people say that this isn't manipulated. Like, come on, man. Like, just just look at how that just happened, real quick. I mean, look, <laughs> look. They know they know what's going on here, right? They know that everybody just saw that break of structure happen. They know that everybody's looking at the order block for entry or the imbalance, whatever you want to call it. Everybody's looking in this zone, like we spoke about. Then look at the candle. Come on. You think that they don't know? Come on, that, that, like that was by chance? Obviously, that's a direct hunt on you guys, you know? Boom, so now that everybody's taken out of the market, now everybody's pissed off, market starts to move in their direction. Hate when that happens, it seems to always happen, right? That's why if you listen to our previous videos, we always say if you are gonna trade this way, at least give yourself a larger stop. And not to right here, not to right here, but maybe to down here. Let the market breathe. You know, you have no right to try to control this market down to one pip. No right to do that. And not only that, but you can't have any form of consistency like that. It just doesn't work that often. So therefore, you know, you're playing a game of probability. You want to stay away from the things that don't happen that often, that don't work that often. So when you look at one, two, five, ten pip stops that don't work that often, what are you doing if you're trying to often make money? You know, are you trying to often hopefully make money or are you trying to make money often? You know, like think about it. it. It's it's probability, man. It's so much more than just trading. You gotta think. You actually have to think a little bit. All right. So again, if we're letting this just play out right now, let's just go to live price action. See where we are. You could see the move that you would have missed, unfortunately, just from playing that same little single order block trap that we all just spoke about. You can literally see it right here again. The break, the zone entry, the take everybody out. Boom. Again. Simple things, guys. Simple, simple things. Now, let's see if we could have walked ourselves right into this entry. You absolutely could have, okay? If you go to the four-hour, just change your perspective around a little bit, okay? Forget about the four-hour imbalance or whatever because obviously that they knew that you were looking at that four-hour imbalance. That's why they did this. But again, if you just watch the zone as a whole and you, you concern yourself more with not, not the imbalance or not the order block or not any of the stupid – man-made concepts and ideas that the algorithm obviously recognizes and knows you are trading well then at least you're able to leave the herd behind for a little bit you know i'm not saying that you've got to abandon your concepts altogether but maybe just maybe you shouldn't trade all the same exact order blocks as everybody else is doing because maybe the algorithm recognizes that and maybe it's probably not the best idea considering how 98 percent of traders are getting crushed and 98 percent of them at this point are probably trading smart money right so again forget about the zones just think about the liquidity okay if we're looking in this area and let's back it up real quick just to see how price let's see i'm still not used to this just to see how price actually got into this zone right all right so once those guys were manipulated frustrated and they're out of the market we can start to look at, at how things play out on the low time frame all right now keep in mind just for some reference where are we we're right here right in the same area where price comes in this is where they're looking to get long right so price goes let's let price move for a minute and there it is now everybody's out of the market they just got tapped out right if we look at the low time frame we can find ourselves an entry down here and this is very this is really not that common but when they happen like i said they they give tremendous opportunities so we'll just back it up so we can walk you guys exactly through it just so you can see that it is what i say it is it does happen when i say it does and it's just not that often that it happens, which makes it not the most ideal way to enter the market. Again, you don't want to be using something that doesn't happen that often. You know, it, it, again, think about making money, guys. If it don't happen that often, why are you doing it, right? So here we are, low time frame, one minute, all right? Low time frame, guys. You know what this low is by now. That's the low of everything. And we've got consolidation. We've got slow, lower low, lower high slow intentional price action right and there you go there's your actual break of structure believe it or not it doesn't look like much but that's actually the break of structure that led to the move okay now if you look you've got your lower low lower high push 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 lower low then you see this little green candle right here that's your lower high that's your lower low that's your break of structure right there into the zone so again, that's the same. Now, if I had 30-second time frame, I could probably break it down a little better. 
but just so you guys, you don't need 30 second time frame. If you're pay, paying trading view all that money for 30 second time frame, you don't need it. If you think you use it because you're scalping, stop scalping. Scalping will never lead you to any type of consistent results. If the goal is to make money trading and to be able to set and forget and to be able to live your life away from the computer and travel and do what you want, stop scalping. Stop because all that does is require constant attention. So don't practice something that you think you're going to get good at that you probably won't because it doesn't really work like that and it will leave you glued to your computer all day which equals zero freedom. So. Just my personal opinion. Stop scalping. You don't need to. Anyway, we're talking about this area here, right? So this is our, our lower low, our lower high, our lower low, right there, lower low, lower high, lower low. This big green candle leads to the break of structure, break of structure. And then what do we say, guys? We're just looking for the fill, right? The imbalance fill into the zone. That's the unicorn entry. That's the ideal perfect scenario that gives maximum amount of risk to reward ratio, R to R, right? That's where you get your one to fifties and your Instagram trades, okay? Now, if you look here, this is actually perfect because that's the one minute imbalance that was left behind. If we can just back up the candle by one candle, we'll see it a little bit better. There you go. So there's our break of structure, okay? Let's just try to See if it'll let us make an arrow there. There we go. Perfect. There's our break of structure, believe it or not. And there's our balance fill. There's our unicorn scenario. Okay. So again, it happens. It works out great when it does, but it's it just doesn't happen often enough because if you look right here, you'll see the same thing. Again, lower time frame would show the break of structure into the unicorn entry right into here, which ultimately what gets sabotaged and taken out. Because it's not if it works, it's when it works that's important, right? And if you don't know how to figure out when it's going to work, don't worry about that because then you don't need to worry about these. Wait for price to move in your direction, then get involved. Like I've told you before, there's no such thing as a late entry. Late entries are actually confirmed entries. This shit right here, this is not something that I would normally take at all. And it's funny because me and uh, one of my partners, we were – we were having one of the meetings on our teams. We call it coffee time. And uh, it was my buddy Doran from South Africa. We were looking at US 30. He trades that very often. And we were looking at the scenario and we said, man, that's just way too clean. And we and we both kind of laughed it off and we said, yeah, that's just way too clean. Mind you, we were already, you know, we were in we were in these moves from, from the last couple of weeks. You know, we already had taken the longs, taken the sells, take, you know. In other words, our bellies were full. There was no really need to take on a risk on scenario like this. And we just said, you know, way too clean, you know, liquidity sitting below, equal, no way, too clean. Let's just let it play out and see what happens. And funny enough, when he watches this video, he's going to see me back testing it. And, uh, and you're going to see the results, guys. Again, why is it too clean for us? Because we're just not interested in being heroes. We're not interested in being, what do we talk about, the, the, the front line. The first people that walk into the questionable situation that can get them killed. We're not interested in that. Once it gets everybody killed and everything's over, coast is clear, that's when we're getting involved. And that's just the way we trade because it's a lot more efficient. We are here to make money, not to be right. Exactly. All right, so let's just watch this one play out uh, into the zone, right? Break structure, pushes, boom. So, I mean – in hindsight, you know, hypothetically, this could have been your perfect ideal scenario where you could have got long right there. All right. And again, what, what's this low? We talked about this low. Let's just back it up a bit so we can see it. This low, again, was the low of the entire scenario, right? Right here at this line, that represents the low of the entire scenario. I never tell you to put your stop right there. I always say put it maybe to this dot at least. Give it some breathing room. But if you wanted to on this particular time, Again, I don't – what I'm trying to really reiterate, guys, is that I don't recommend that you do this because my goal is for you guys to make money and not to, to, to just try to be right. This is trying to be right. Now, would it have worked this time? Yes, it would have worked this time. You know, Let's just let it play for a little while, speed this thing up a little bit. Let's just go. It would have worked. You know, Don't get me wrong. That's excellent. But you can't, you can't build your career around things that happen every once in a while. That's why I would always recommend that you put your stop – not at the low that we spoke about, but a little bit deeper just to give it some breathing room. Because at the end of the day, guys, you want to be in the move, right? That's the goal, be in the move. You understand that the algorithm is adapting. It knows that people are looking for this scenario and they're trading. So therefore, what's it do? It sweeps these scenarios typically before moving. So we've got to understand that and respect that. That's what's going to keep us alive, okay? And that's what's going to allow us to thrive. So 
just for the sake of this example. If you were to put your stop right there, you could have done it because you'll see it does play out correctly. And uh, let's just go to a slightly higher time frame so we don't get to spend all day on this. We'll just kind of open up the trade now just to let her breathe. And we're gonna, I'm going to walk you guys right into current price action. Um, we'll let this play. Let it play. And price, I mean, big time rockets right there. Just from right here, you're doing a one to uh, you're doing a one to 35, okay? Or one to 35, one to 36 ish. And again, guys, this is nothing really fancy. You know, this is you know kind of what we talk about all the time. And the funny thing is, is the the only order blocker imbalance or whatever you want to call it, you know, that was the the first one was swept. Now you can call this one right here uh, another order blocker imbalance. This little one hour final buy or uh, sell before the buy. But again. If you can just take your mind off of that idea, you'll be able to see the charts a lot better. Forget about the order block. Think about the liquidity. Think about where the money lies. Okay, guys? Now, with this push right here, it seems like, you know, oh, I missed the move. You know, my life is over. I just missed the greatest move in the world. But I'm letting you know right now, I was not in that move. I wasn't in the move. Like I said, by the time these cells and stuff were over, by the time all this cell, this cell right here, this cell right here, this cell right here, by the time they were all over, my concern really isn't in trying to be the first one to catch the reversal because it's just not likely and it's just not profitable and it's definitely not consistent to trade that way. So once the market gets moving and it's moving and it's moving and now I feel confident in it, this is where I'm going to get involved. You know, I'll look for a position somewhere around here because to me this makes a lot more sense to get long because now I've got some kind of confirmation that price is going long. You know, this was – again, this was the uncertain – Thing. This was when you were trying to be right. Understanding that the market is now moving bullish, that's when somebody who's trying to make money. Because in other words, now I know, hey, the coast is clear. We're going bullish. Let's look for long opportunities. Excellent. Perfect. Now is my time to get into the market. And for us, it's very, very easy to get into the market at this time. We have our own ways of doing things. And um, and this zone right here is it's a, it's like a pretty much a textbook dark side zone that we can get into. And, you know, even when you back it up and look at it, it's funny, guys, because it's – look, it's it's funny, man, because it's the same things over and over. The same way you see this break of structure into the zone, right, into the imbalance to fly, right? Now look at this way. You see the same thing, break of structure into the zone down, right, right back into your zone right here. But it's supposed to fly down, right? But it doesn't fly down. It doesn't because instead this time it fakes and rips everybody's heads off. But guys, again, you see it's the same shit. It's the same shit. If I just move these arrows right here and do it like this and show the break of structure in this way, higher high, higher low, higher high, and then I show a line like this, I'm showing you the exact same thing. If we just back it up a little bit, I'm show, we're, we're talking about the same things right here. This is the same situation. This is the same situation. That's why it's not if it works, it's when it works. This is the same thing. Lower low, lower high, lower low. Break of structure into the zone, okay? The inverse, higher high, higher low, higher high. Break of structure into the zone. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So that's why this is how liquidity is engineered. This is how biases are created. This is how you have the argument of no way it's going to sell and the other guy saying no way it's a buy. This is what this is what they want you to think. This is why the market – is evil because it knows what you're doing and it's taking advantage of you. You see, yeah, that, that's how it works. So it's look, it's the same shit when you look at it, you know. And and now when we just go to current price action, we can see price is flying, right? So I guess this time it was right, this time it was wrong. It doesn't really make a difference because now we've got the green light and we at least know where price should be heading. And you know, if we go back to the original example, this trade right here, you currently be sitting at. One, two, let's see, literally right now to this second, you know, one o'clock, we're going to bounce out to 1 p.m. closure, New York time. You're at one, two, what is that, 87? One, two, one to 87 risk reward ratio. And you know what? Just, you know, for the sake of this example, there's a good chance price is going to reach up into this area right here. So there's a really good chance if you hold this, you're going to hit one to one to 111. And I'm pretty sure once you hit your first one to 111 trade, you're allowed to sell a course. So be careful because there's going to be a lot of people. We're probably going to back test what I'm showing you right now. Pretend that they knew it. Pretend that they got involved, and you'll start seeing the ads on Instagram. So um, again, guys, just a quick walk through a one through your one through a potentially 100, whatever. It's really a quick walk walk through a, a unicorn entry. You know the break of structure and the imbalance bill. Again, guys, they happen. 
but how often do they happen? And the answer is not often enough for you to base your entire entry strategy this way or build a trading career that way. You know, so just a little food for thought. Hope you all got some value.